Hey everyone, this is Steve Wise with Pragmatic Works back with another Azure Everyday video. And in today's video, we're going to explore the deployment pipeline feature currently in preview in the Power BI service. One important note about this feature is that it's only available to workspaces operating in premium capacity. What we're going to do in this video is just walk through setting up that deployment process for the first time using a test file. And I have that test PBIX file here in Power BI Desktop. One important note about this file is that we have some parameters set up that points the data set to either a development database or a production database. So let's say that I've now published this data to the service. And as I come over to Power BI service, if you have premium capacity set up in your tenant, you should see the deployment pipeline feature here. Now that data set or in that report needs to be published to a premium workspace. And I have that premium workspace set up here. We know that because of the diamond. So to set up a deployment pipeline, we're going to find that particular link. And right off the bat, we're going to say create a pipeline. And we'll just call this pipeline test or actually pipeline Azure everyday video. And we're going to create that. And the first thing it's going to show us is the flow within that pipeline process. We have a development environment, a test environment, and a production environment. And right now they're all empty. We can set permissions for this pipeline itself. But what we're going to do first is actually just assign a workspace to this pipeline. And it's only going to allow us to choose workspaces in premium capacity. Here we're going to pick that. And we need to choose which one of these environments we want to deploy to. Uh, in this case, we're just going to start with the development environment and send that in. Now here in this space, we're just creating content. Let's say that our report is ready at this point. We can see it down here and we want to start moving this from our development environment to our test environment. So what we're going to do is, is highlight the items that we want to deploy to the next pipeline version and we're going to deploy to test. And what you're going to notice about deploying from the development environment to the test environment is that Power BI service is going to spin up a completely independent workspace to accept these items. And so here, if we actually come back to our workspace, we're going to see that Power BI has created a copy uh, and now added uh, a suffix to it called text. Test. This is a completely independent workspace, and so you can actually have permissions, different users accessing your test workspace versus your development workspace. And again, let's say that all of the testing has been done in this area and we want to move to production. Now you'll notice that there's some rules that we can set up here about how the parameters or will be affected as the items, as the data set moves from one phase to the other. Now we want to actually set rules when the items get to production. So what we're going to do is move everything in our test workspace into our production workspace. Uh, this is probably a very important step that you shouldn't just do so willy nilly as I'm doing here. But at the end of the day, we have that in that space. And what I want to show and demonstrate is how to set a parameter rule so that we can switch our source data set or our source database from the development database to the production database. And so under here we have parameter rules and we're going to choose that parameter. It's called database. And here we see the original value. We're going to change this to production. Now it doesn't show I, those were a drop down list in Power BI desktop here. You have to manually type in what you want to use. Uh, and in this case, we're going to save and close. And now items entering into this production workspace are going to have that data set parameter changed to production. So at this point, we have all three set up. This is a pipeline that has to be manually deployed. From what I can tell in here, there's no way to set a schedule to move this automatically. Uh, but in this case, at least you can move and have control over what moves from the test environment to the production environment and flip those parameters. Also know it does create another workspace specific to that production. Again, these are features that are in preview. Uh, I think Microsoft plans to move this into general availability around August or September of 2020. So depending on when you're watching this video, some of these features might be more improved or might be better than what we're seeing here right now. But this is just a quick example of how to set up that deployment pipeline to take a Power BI file and move it through each step of the process uh, and interact with it in that independent workspace that's been created. OK, well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and hopefully see you again on another Azure every day. Thank you.